do you really want something? Hey guys, Jim Edwards here and welcome to another Jim's Gem, a little doc talk. And the question is, do you really want something? You know, it's interesting, back in the 90s I got a cassette program by Wayne Dyer who was a personal favorite of mine, Wayne Dyer and Deepak Chopra. And they came out with a six cassette series called How to Get What You Really, Really, Really Want. And the last really was all caps. It was interesting because basically they said, if you really, really, really want something, you can get it. You will get it. And I thought to myself, well, in my life, has that ever been true? And up to that point, to a degree it had. I remember a specific example when I was 17 years old, I was in college, I was in ROTC. I really wanted to go to airborne school and jump out of airplanes. And one of the upperclassmen said, even if you're a freshman, if you really, really, really want a slot to airborne school, you'll get one. And when you hear that when you're 17, you're like, okay, well, I really, really, really want it. I didn't understand what it took to get there. The getting up at five in the morning, going over to the gym, being there at six, working out, when all your buddies have been out drinking the night before and were sleeping in and it's and I wanted to quit. In fact, I did quit for a day and then a couple of buddies of mine talked me into not quitting. And then I look back on my life, you know, when you really, really, really want something, things seem to fall into a giant category and a tiny category. The giant category is things that would be nice to have if it wasn't too hard, if it wasn't too difficult, if it wasn't too strenuous and if it wasn't too expensive, if it didn't take up too much time and if it didn't get in the way of me watching TV and all the other stuff that I could be doing. And then there's the little bit of the things that you really, 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 really want. Unfortunately, most of the time, the things that fall into that category are the things that get forced on you. And they're usually in the negative. I really, 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 really don't want to lose my house. So I guess I have to go to <laughs> have to go to school today. I have to go to my work, go to job today and make the money so I don't lose my house, so I don't lose my car, so my wife doesn't leave me, so that I my kids don't starve to death, so that they don't walk around naked and all this stuff. So it's it's based on a force too. But the things that fit in that category of really, really, really are framed in the negative. But every once in a while. There's that shining thing that you really, really, really want. And you do whatever it takes to get it and then to keep it. And what I would say to you is that we all have the power within us to use that system of what you really, really, really want to get the things in a positive way, to get the things that you want to have, not the things you want to avoid. And it's a five step system. I'm going to give it to you real quick because we're going to wrap this up. This isn't a 10 minute Jim's gem. The first step is know exactly what you want. The second step is know why you want it. You got to have a reason why a really strong reason why because that's going to give you the gas to keep going after it when times get tough. Know exactly what you want. Know why you want it. The third thing is believe you can achieve it. Believe that you can have it. If you don't believe it, it ain't gonna happen no matter how much you want it. The fourth thing, the fourth step is you gotta have faith that you're gonna get it, that sooner or later it's gonna show up. And faith is really the banishment of doubt. Doubt is what stops most people. If you can know exactly what you want, know why you want it, believe you can have it, but then doubt kills most people or makes them take forever to get stuff done. And then the fifth step is action. Thoughtful, consistent action. That's how you get what you want. And if you think about it, you use that system all the time. The problem is that we most of the time use it with a negative motivator instead of a positive motivator. So I was thinking about this as I was running down a dark country road this morning, wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this Jim's gem. I gotta go get a shower and teach a class. Ooh, did you hear that? A bunch of bait fish jumped. Today would be perfect to be out here fishing, but that's not what we're doing today. So I heard him again, dang it. All right, everybody have a wonderful day. Remember, anything you really want in your life, you can have it.
Go use the system you're using right now to make it happen. I'm Jim Edwards. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.